Hello, I'm John, the executive producer here at Final Show Films. I got a few notes for you before the show. First, I want to thank you all for watching. We couldn't do what we do or the amount of things that we do without the support of you, the viewer. If you want to support us financially, which we always appreciate, you can go to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash fsfilms, where you can donate as little as a dollar a month to help us continue this and all the things that we do. I want to give a special shout out to our $25 supporters, Antitonic, Cat Water Flame, and Samantha Bates. Uh, second, I want to let you all know that we here at Final Show Films are planning a little get-together up at Gen Con this year. That's August 2nd through 5th up at Indianapolis. We're going to be up there just sort of hanging out, enjoying the con, spending time together. And if any of you guys want to come up and say hi, please feel free. We don't bite unless you want us to. And if you enjoy whatever it is you're about to watch or listen to, be sure to check out our website at finalshowfilms.com where you can find links to all of our other content, both podcast and video. And be sure to follow me at John A. Bates on Twitter for more updates on all of the content we're creating in the future. In the meantime, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy. Because I checked and I'm like, yeah. I'm not hearing anything. Do, 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 do. Um, oh. Now we hear it. There we go. Oh. All right, we are live now with sound. <laughs> okay, let's see if that fixes it. Jesus, God damn okay. Christ. I Since no it idea. wasn't her before, OBS, you are the worst. <laughs> yes. So... Hello, everybody, and welcome to Breakfast before we head into Zip. Nara, apologies for all of the technical issues that have probably significantly fucked things up, at least for the person editing this podcast. We're all screwed. Anyway. <laughs> but we're going to journey to the Feywild, where technology doesn't work for good reasons, like there are fairies around. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Most people don't think God that fairies are around. They're usually considered not that great a thing to have. I'm 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 Irish. I get to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're allowed. Everyone's allowed. It's a question of whether or not you will feel that way after they stab you a whole bunch. Um, fair. All right, well, now we can do introductions now that we actually have sound. Yay. Yeah, Jeremy, just so you know, that's not really showing up on your camera because there's something behind it. Yeah. Um, just seeing, seeing, seeing type in the background. Uh. But it says OBS, you are the worst for those listening o over podcast. OBS equals worst. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I anyway. need a tattoo of that. <laughs> Yep, but anyway, last time on break for first the party, he needs to do introductions. Jeremy. <laughs> See, I was doing it in, in, in writing because I was trying to be appropriate to my character. Um, I am Jeremy. I'm playing Click Clack, the Kenku Rogue. And Jack. Hi everybody, I'm Jack, and I'll be playing Ragnar Reinherjer, the Dwarven Paladin of Conquest. And Kat. Um, I am Kat, and I am playing Ska, the Wood Elf Barbarian Cleric. And Navarin, and our bard, and Alistar, Alistar Amabran. 
Alistar, the unpronounceable na- <laughs> named one, <laughs> is not with us this week. He is off doing things and being places. Mm-hmm. But last time on Breakfast, the part Udi traveled through the Feywa, old arriving in, in a small town with a totem of sidestepping, a gate that would allow them to return to the material plane. They met with the father of wolves, a, a powerful spirit who, who offered them passage, but could not take them back to their native material plane, given some deity and planar related shenanigans that the party is trying to solve. However, he offered an alternative. If if the party collects three or more boons from powerful fey entities, locations, etc., they may be able they will be able to travel through the portal without issue. So, um, or with less issue at least. So the party set off, Ragnar having previously heard of a location in the mountains called the the Silvered Peaks. The Silvered Peaks being a place that, um, that's a good word. You know very little about, because the description for the Silvered Peaks was just basically, it's near the accursed tree. Yep, kind of vague. And and someone mentioned that armor might be. Indeed they did. <laughs> so, having in gathered your belongings and your followers, I assume the group of you are preparing to set out? Yes. Yep. Once you leave the city, it quickly becomes more nature. Uh, You're headed away from the coast now, so you can see the water in the distance. um, And and you know that there's a river to the side of you, but mostly you've got dick... dense, thick forest. It's... um, and grasslands in front of you. Again, once you're away from the city proper, there are very few roads, and you're mostly navigating based on your own knowledge and experience. So whoever wants to be leading, why don't you make me a survival check? Ragnar's got... uh in survival he'd be willing to take point unless i was gonna say i have five in survival i will assist you how about that and see if we can we can get you some advantage on this (laughs) scott i mean if they're leaving it open click clack will volunteer (laughs) that said It's, it's one of those where, like, like Scott, Scott looks up, Ragnar looks down, and together we've got it handled. See, see right. I feel more like Ragnar and Scott are going to be, like, the, the, the party mom and dad on a road trip who are just constantly pulling the map back and forward, arguing with each <laughs> yes. other. Probably, yeah. All right. All right. Roll, let me see where it takes you. Advantage survival. Natural 20 for 25. Okay. Booyah. Yeah. Best way to start it. So you're having some trouble. This is very weird landscapes. It doesn't quite fit what you're used to. You know things about patterns and places where hills dip. But, you know, sometimes there's a cliff if just in the middle of one of these hills that that doesn't make much sense. (laughs) But it's also the Feywild, so there's a tree to climb down. Um... You pass through fields of giant mushrooms and other things, and Ragnar are, and Ska, between the two of you, you manage to keep fairly on your heading um, to where or you know you want to go. I'm going to ask for a D100 roll from somebody. On there it. You go. Yeah. Too late. Oh. <laughs> I have it as a macro, Jeremy. 
There will be more opportunities to chaotically destroy things. But <laughs> with an 82, um, as you're heading along, the graph uh, starts to thin out. You, you can hear rustling and skidding sounds coming in from the small number of trees is that have or sort of in the side of where you're currently walking. Um, I believe you're on the right map. Um, yeah, like I said, you hear lots of skittling and small, small sounds. Uh, <laughs> clack, clack, given you're the only one not tracking where you're going, why don't you make me a perception check? Okay, I think I'm slightly better at those than I am at... Oh, yeah, I'm actually good at perception. Yeah, you've got expertise. Well. You're good. I, my expertise gives me a plus four total. Well done. Well done indeed. Hmm? Which makes me a, a seven. <laughs> um, okay. So none of you spot them um, right away, but as, as more of them congregate eight, eight, and you continue walking through the grass, you hear more of these small sounds um, and these quick creatures you start to spot darting in and out of the grass. Um, they're almost the same height as the grass, which is why you didn't spot them from further away. You might have thought it was just the wind. Um, but everyone got to roll some initiative. Uh, Ragnar Sweet. does not currently have a token on the map. <laughs> oh, Ragnar with Alistar. Give me a second to no fix problem. that. No problem. If I were Ragnar, I would be very offended right now. <laughs> That's mean. So basically, I'm I'm getting like a, a a a slight Jurassic Park two vibe, except the grass is a little shorter, and so are the raptors. Um. You know, you're going outside of my film vocabulary, but I'm gonna say that's about right. Yeah, that sounds legit. Also, if these are quicklings, I am really fucking excited. Hmm. Okay. Do, 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 do. And there's initiative for me. Holy shit! I love that even with a nat 20, you're not as fast. I have a plus as one clack. to my modifier. Hmm. Yeah. I just think it's funny that with a nat 20, you're still not faster than Click Clack at a 7. Even on your best goal. day, you're not going to beat the rogue at initiative. Yeah. The, I was the say, wow. and on, buckler rogue. And, and on yeah. his best day, he's not going to beat me at, the, at athletics. It's okay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Jack, what's your deck? Wait, it's One. Mm -hmm. Never mind. It doesn't matter. There's is so much better than yours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, my dex oh. is 13. Sorry, my modifier is 1. What's your athletics bonus? Plus 8. Mm -hmm. Plus 5. Yeah. Plus 6. I'm better than you. Yeah, we're a pretty athletic group, aside yep. from the bard. Which is the exact opposite of most of our group, most of yeah, our most games of... groups. It's <laughs> true. So, quick, click, clack, while you... Um, don't spot them in time to warn the party in advance. You are moving first in terms of initiative, and you're starting to see these small creatures flurry in and out of the bushes. He gets a sort of excited look on his face, whips out his rapier, and quickly dashes... Uh, not, not literally dashes, not mechanically dashes. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. Let's go say hi. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What am I looking at? Um, let me see if I can show you an image file real quick. Um, about two feet tall, these blue creatures um, seem to have... Tiny swords, like, think mouse, the mouses with swords thing, stuck to the, or, er, okay, right. none of them 
seem to stay quite still. They seem to even, as you're looking, be in the process of moving. They definitely noticed you. I think you can see that. Yep. Yep. Cool. This is yep. a creature I've never heard of before, and it's quite interesting looking. One of them um, showed up in a yeah. Drizdoerd novel back in the day, and I've wanted to fight them ever since because they're little assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, then. there was something good in a Drizdoerd novel. Some of the setting stuff isn't bad. Okay, you're okay. You're not wrong. <laughs> um. Okay, before we get into a flame war with someone who likes the stupid. D and D romance books. Emo or dark they are. elf. We're moving on. Click clack. You the see forgotten quickly... realms version of angel. Click clack. <laughs> you know, the angel. You see quickly moving tiny little blue people. Well, as you have your rapier drawn, what are you doing? I go like that, and I am holding action to attack if one of them attacks. Oh, okay. They will get. I'm not attacking if they're going to run away. <laughs> or if they're not, you know, if they're there to talk, he doesn't know what they are. Yeah, fair enough. Um, you definitely hear some laughter from these these creatures. <laughs> now I just want to attack him. Period. <laughs> and um, but their I'm not going. turn. Okay. Um, and yeah, they're they're going to attack. Uh, so sweet. Actually, so we're gonna start with the two on click clack, and then the other ones move and stuff. Um, so my held action goes off, right? Yeah. Yes, it does. I uh, both of them sort of swirl, almost looping in circles around you. Uh, for some reason, I put one of them on you. So give me a second to fix the tokens. But yes, your held action goes off. You have disadvantage as these things are very fast and very tiny. Cool. Wait, disadvantage? Disadvantage. Blurred okay. movement's a fucking badass ability. Yes, it is. Hmm. Let's see. Make sure. Okay. All right, so you so you're, the good news little, is the you're advantage. caught a little bit off guard as the quickling sort of mirrors your stance and, and beckon. And, but before you quite get the rapier in, they're still swirling around you, and the other, it's almost like they swapped places the second that you started attacking. I mean, the good news is my... With the best I would have rolled, there was a two. So the disadvantage didn't hurt me that much. <laughs> Got two bad rolls out of the way. Um, and they're going to do their attacks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wow. Okay. Um, so they all have advan. They both have advantage. So that's... Six attacks coming at you. Um, what's your AC? Mine is uh, 16. Okay. So 16 hits, a 17 hits, but a 13 does not. All right. So click, click. You're caught a little bit off guard by these tiny creatures is as they he starts stabbing you with little pinprick sticks. Um, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, basically. The first the first one um gets the first one gets off all three attacks. You take nine piercing damage Eight piercing damage and ten piercing damage because apparently they roll well. Okay. Um, and the second one sort of 
of last. <laughs> Actually, I will use my uncanny dodge on that oh. third one. Fair enough. So um, I only take five. But you've got your sword up to sort of parry now. Um, so only one of the second one's attacks hit it. Hits uh, for six piercing damage. Okay. All right, so you two both see Click Clack start to be harried by these little things as more of them flock to surround the rest of you. Actually, they're going to run away now because they've still got lots of movement left. Uh-huh. And Click Clack, as they each finish hitting you, um, they dart, and they're on the complete other side of the grove. Can I get my opportunity attack? Oh, no, you just used my reaction to Uncanny Dodge. Never mind. Sorry. No, it's fine. I will take that I will take that trade-off, because, ow. Yep. Uh. Where and is the rest Stan of our, Ragnar. Where is the rest of my army at this point? Mm -hmm. The rest of your army is uh, traveling slightly behind with the cart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love their movement speed so much. Um, they can go everywhere. They can. They really can. One, two. All right. So, Ragnar and Sky, you've both got three of them on you. Cool. <clears throat> um. <laughs> this laugh keeps changing whatever um, there's more than one of them hmm? yep okay so Scott does a 16 hit you okay. I'm assuming a 10 doesn't a 10 does not but yeah okay. 16 does um so that's two hits on Ska. 10 piercing damage and 7 piercing damage. Fuck. Alright. Um, as into these breathe. little stabs come in unexpectedly sharp and quick, uh, Ragnar, you've got three of them on you. Okay. So which have advantage. A critical hit does a 16. Uh, they have to hit 18 or above to hit me. Hmm? Okay. Um... And a f then a 15 obviously doesn't as well. So just nope. the critical. Yep. So one of them finds a weak spot in your armor and jabs in for nine points of piercing damage. Uh, the other two just taking off of it. Um, and they all sort of start to disperse. They're fleeing back a little ways so that they're not in contact with you. You can each... Get an opportunity to attack off if you'd like. Yep. 23. 22. 22. Okay. Those both hit. So they got nine slashing from me. All right. Um, 17 which one radiance from me. What Which one are you going for, Ragnar? I'll be going for the one that's headed towards uh, Click Clack. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah. Cool. So, Click Clack, you see uh, you see one of them rushing over sort of back in your direction, and then just this beam of radiant light engulf and destroy it. <laughs> Take that, he you wee fucker! He responds to in the little 
charred whatever it is direction with a mimicry of its own laugh. <laughs> yeah. Which I will leave you to do if you so desire. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. And that's stored in here now. Oh my god, you're gonna make me do that somewhat regularly, aren't you? All I gotta say is that Ska might be woken up in her sleep by that. <laughs> well, right here. now, Ska needs to make an opportunity attack against someone if she wants to. You did. Um, yeah, you just have to d designate which one your target was, Kat. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm... Which I probably should have had you do in advance, but... Another opportunity attack? No, no same you one. Have to no, you made an opportunity uh, attack. Oh, sorry. Who were you attacking? Uh, the one in front of me. Uh, which one? I think directly up top. This one, yeah. Okay. There were three in front of you. Uh, so that one um, clearly takes a hit, but is still standing. 